Where did the universe come from, and what was there before it existed? The Big Bang is how astronomers explain the way the universe began. It is the idea that the universe began as just a single point, then expanded and stretched to grow as large as it is right now. And it is still stretching. However, the dilemma arises when you begin to question everything before the Big Bang, which is difficult to conceptualize. Eventually, empirical data, primarily radio source counts, came favor to the Big Bang theory over steady state theory. The discovery and confirmation of the CMB in 1964 confirmed the Big Bang theory as the best description of the universe's creation and evolution. The steady state theory claims that the cosmos is constantly expanding while keeping a constant average density, with matter constantly being created to form new stars and galaxies, at the same rate that old ones become unobservable due to their increasing distance and rate of recession. The steady state theory lost support after the discovery of the CMBR and is no longer considered reasonable. Redshift is stronger in more distant galaxies, and CMBR is found everywhere at temperatures of minus 270 degrees Celsius. The cosmic microwave background is electromagnetic radiation that is left over from an early period of the cosmos, also known as relic radiation in Big Bang cosmology. The CMB is the weak cosmic background radiation that fills all of space. This makes the Big Bang theory the best model we currently have for the birth of our universe and a solid foundation that offers us a fair notion of how the universe came to be 13.8 billion years ago. However, with the flood of preprint papers and popular science stories about the James Webb Space Telescope's initial images, previous incorrect statements that the Big Bang never happened at all are no longer supported by sufficient evidence, at least to this day. However, this doesn't mean that there's no fresh and exciting data emerging from the JWST. There is, and the majority of this new data is made available to the public in the form of scientific preprints, publications that have not yet been peer-reviewed and are available on repositories such as archive or popular news pieces, not just the type that would call the Big Bang Theory into question. On the other hand, if someone required further proof that the Big Bang Theory is wrong, you'd have to explain the CMB in a different way. All recent publications and videos have been dismissive of the CMB, and all previous attempts for such an approach have been disproven. It's also worth noting that Webb isn't designed to view and conduct novel analysis of the CMB. That far back in time, the telescope cannot see. It will, however, examine an era a few hundred million years following the Big Bang. What it discovers there will almost definitely alter our understanding of the early universe, galaxies, and the history of the universe. However, it is deceptive to say that the early photos and study findings refuted the Big Bang idea. Well-reasoned scientists giving extremely thorough and careful arguments may should and criticize scientific beliefs. This isn't one of those occasions that suggests, contrary to popular belief, that the Big Bang did happen. And as always, if you want to learn more about space and stay up to date, like, subscribe, Check out our previous videos and visit our website if you love reading at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.